Brian Fox Sports Scott.com here with four star receiver Saeed Blacknall. We're now up in high. 42 7 win against East Brunswick, and it was that easy. Yeah. Saeed, you, you kind of they got you on a couple short passes, they hooked up with you, but for the most part, it was about younger guys tonight. Why is that good for you guys? Um, we because we know we got a lot of weapons on the team and we, we know what we have. We just gotta let them ease into the varsity level and just let them like the talents to show out. And that's the thing about this team when one person goes down, we got another person stepping up, and, and that's great. You know, I know every receiver would rather have 10 catches, 200 yards. What do you get out of something like this, though? How do you enjoy this? I'm not, yeah, I'm not focused on all the numbers and everything and all that because it's all about winning and I'm just helping my, my team do what they got to do. And the second you start worrying about that other stuff and numbers, and that, that's when stuff goes wrong and you just, you're not focused. All right, I saw you in scrimmage against Monroe early. You were dominant there. I kind of get the sense if they wanted to get you to ball a lot tonight, they would have. But where has your game kind of evolved this season, do you think? Um, dude, we just our game plan as far as me getting open routes and certain patterns we got for me. It's just like it, it's been a lot more, a lot better than previous years. And this year we like our quarterbacks are getting in. Our chemistry's there, and it's the chemistry as far as two quarter two different quarterbacks is also there too. And I guess it's just clicking right now. I say, is it weird because one's a lefty, one's a righty? Not at all. A lot of people think that it's like, how do you can uh, yeah. you know? You don't turn from a left-handed team to a right-handed nah, team? No, nah, we, we, we're, we're okay. We practice enough. We have enough reps in practice. Hey, one thing I always think about with you as a player, um, you don't get to go against a lot of the high-level cornerbacks on your schedule. How do you deal with that, and how do you make sure you're challenging yourself all the time? Just going hard in practice, running routes, and running, and just catching the ball and doing all the fundamentals because a lot of people look over the fundamentals of a receiver, and that's the worst thing you could do. So I just keep on doing that until I get to that next level and I get that proper uh, practice and training. All right, and uh, I know a couple weeks ago, Rutgers coach Kyle Flood was out to see you. You're a Rutgers commit. Do you glance over at the sideline and see him standing there at all? Yeah, I did. I, I was surprised. It, it was like more of a shocking kind of thing because there was a lot of recruits like out in New Jersey he could have saw that night. He came to see me, and that, that showed a lot. Well, why does that mean a lot to you? It just it tells you it's real. Like a lot of schools, they they tell you they care about you, but then you you really know that school cares about you. All right, and you've watched Rutgers, I take it this year, um, good and bad. Yes. What do you see, and and what? How do you judge what goes on there? Um, they just they're getting better each week, and it's just like one of those things they're just preparing for the next stage, Big Ten, and they just got to keep fighting on. Just and, and guys. That, uh, that are stepping out as far as like, the younger receivers and everything. Everyone's getting their chance to do what they got to do. How anxious do you get? I know you have your season. You're looking for a state championship. But do you think about it a little bit? Hey, I'm going to be in the Big Ten next year. Yeah, I do. It's one of those things, like you said, uh, you really don't get it, like the proper uh, competition for my level. But it's one of those things I always look forward to just getting better. I just can't wait to just explode on the next level. All right. to train them to get th th down there. It's going to be unbelievable. Are other schools leaving you alone now? Yeah, for the most part. It's pretty made peace. it pretty clear. <laughs> it's pretty peaceful, huh? Yeah. What is that last thing? What is that like just being done and not having any issues? It's great. Just stay healthy, help your team out, and just continue to do what you do. All right, Saeed, as always, a pleasure. Thanks, man. Thank you.